Spanish vocal range and three first names. James Arnold Taylor, and you know, this is the fourth year I've had the pleasure of hosting Star Wars Weekends. And many people may go, well, James Taylor, James Arnold, I've seen fire, I've seen fire, I know. Who is he? Why is he here? Well, you see, I'm a voice actor, so I provide the voice of many different cartoon characters and things. And, uh, well, you know, so I get asked a lot, well, have I heard you in anything? In which case I say, Yes, I'm of course Jedi Master Fuku, the Obi Wan Kenobi on Star Wars: The Clone Wars. But I'm also the evil genius, the leader on Hulk and the Agents of Smash. And of course, I'm Poppy on Doc McStuffins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but never do Fred Flintstone. And Johnny Test, who's awesome. I'm the voice that tells you what's coming up next on Animation Domination. I even be the voice of the skull right here in Disney's Hollywood Studios, the legend of Jack Sparrow. That's Captain Jack Sparrow, right? Well, I'm the voice of video games, right? Sometimes in video games, I'm Ratchet in Ratchet Clank, Tina's from Final Fantasy X, Lego Spider-Man, the Silver Surfer. I'm the Gold Professor Charles Xavier. I'm the voice of all the guys. And when celebrities cannot actually be there to provide their own voice, I fill in for the people like, well, let's say, Michael J. Fox for things like Stuart Little and Disney's Atlantis and Lost Empire. I'm, uh, I've got uh, J. Marshall and, uh, of course, oh, Christopher Mitz Plasse as Fish Legs and How to Treat Your Dragon. I'm also on the Giants and the Prince of Brian Day. And Andrew Garfield for Spider-Man. It's crazy, I've even been in quest for walking when he can't. It's <laughs> great. I don't know what's the touch now. I don't want DVD and Blu-ray to use all the directly. The blah 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 is dry safe. Offer expires November 30th. See something you can't find. That's not something you can find. Yes. Don't miss it! So, thank you. So that's what a voice actor does, and that's what I get to be, uh, and I love it. I love being a voice actor, and I love it so much that I created a show that we call Obi-Wan and Beyond right here for Star Wars Weekends, and it's going to be at 7.30 right back here at the Premier Theater. I hope you come out and see it. Anybody seen it before? So you tell somebody next to you to go see the show, and it's going to be a lot of fun to do about 200 different voices and talk about my life as a voice actor. I hope you come and see the show. But right now, we have a fantastic show. Are we excited? Are we excited? Yeah. That's better. Hey, we have Wicked here, Mark Davis. Yeah. yeah. We have Boba Fett here and Boba Fett. Yeah. And there is somebody else that wanted to say hello to all of you, but he couldn't make it here because he's a little busy. But take a look at the screens. <laughs> J.J. Abrams. I'm in London working on the new Star Wars movie, uh, otherwise I'd be there with you today. I can't tell you what a thrill it's been over the past year working with this incredible team, uh, helping build these worlds, creatures, costumes, designs, seeing everything come to life. I uh, can't wait for you to see it. So I'm sorry I can't be there with you at Star Wars weekend, but I've had a great time. Thank you for working with me. Fantastic show for you, so let's bring out our first guest. Yes? Yeah. Oh, you guys are getting it now. Okay. Well, he has a wonderful career that spans over five decades, and just a fantastic, fantastic man, but also a very cool character in the world of Star Wars. Oh, let's let this do all the talking for you. Take a look at the screen. Ladies and gentlemen. Star Wars Weekends is proud to introduce one of the most distinguished actors of the millennia. Some of his finest moments were in such cinematic masterpieces as Doctor Who, Robin of Sherwood, and the James Bond series as that clever gadget tester, Smithers. His talents and versatility are limitless, and his ability to become a human chameleon is truly uncanny. Why, he has 
must play an action man, a gentle man, a sensitive man, and even a ladies man. see everybody here, but also to come to Florida. I mean, I know it's really hot, but what, what a fabulous place to be. It is so hot. It is so hot, I feel like we're on Tatooine. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, we are. Right? I'm, sorry, I'm, hey, I'm, in the, I'm in the wrong place. I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> no, 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 you're fine, you're fine. Stay, stay. Oh, it's okay. We want to stay, right? Boba Fett that you love. Just give me like one word. What do you love about Boba Fett? Badass. Swag. He's got a sense of the And what else? What do you think? What's great about Boba Fett? Style. He's got style for a villain. He's got all these. What else? What's out there? What? Yes, yeah, yeah, he's serious, he's scary, he's he does, menacing, he he's a dog. bounty hunter. Bounty hunters are cool. You're like that guy, dog. No, you don't like that guy. <laughs> so, Jeremy, what is yes. it about Boba Fett that you love? Uh, I, I think the, the costume does a lot for the character. I mean, yes, it's great to play Boba Fett, but just the outfit, just a little look here and there, yeah. slide to it. He's, he's cool, he's much cooler than you. <laughs> T-shirt on and a jacket. <laughs> and Boba Fett is trying to do the right thing by wearing a blazer, English yes. cricket. Yes, <laughs> no problem. Yes, this is how it's going to be. All right. I knew it was going to be a tough show today, but um, <laughs> you know, we have and you know we've been on stage together so many times and we've we've talked. But how did it all start? Can you tell some of the folks that may not know this character of Boba Fett for you? Was it a phone call from your agents? What was? What was no, it was actually very lucky. Uh, my half brother phoned me one day and I was in the theatre and he said, look, there's a part going, it's a couple of days if you want to do it. I mean, you want to phone your agent? I phoned my agent. I said, look, I don't think that I'm going to get away with this because I'm in the theatre. Yeah. Anyway, cut a long story short, they said, we'll go and see. And I'm introduced to George and he, I was in the outfit and he said, hmm, ah, well, welcome aboard, nice to have you. That was it. Welcome aboard. <laughs> I thought it was a sort of sh sea ships and things like that. <laughs> and so it was really because you, you, you fit the costume. Yeah, my half brother. I mean, it was, uh, I, know, I fitted the costume. And could you have imagined at the time, okay, I'm about to enter this world of Star Wars. Because Star Wars was big, the first one to come out already. Here we were about to start Empire Strikes Back, which is episode five, which is really the second one. So if you're following along at home. And it's very confusing. But, uh, but then, you've got this great costume, but did you ever have any issues with this costume? I had some spiky boots, so you don't get nowhere near. You know, the trouble is, Boba Fett can't have a cover. <laughs> no, it's true, it's true. He, if you do that, by points on the shoes, we just go straight into the victim. Oh, really? <laughs> and now they become the victim, I like that, that's good. Now, what about those knee pads? Knee pads, one day I walked in, and you can probably see on the photograph, yeah. as you start to walk, the pressure of that, these knee pad things shot across the floor. <laughs> the Velcro would snap and fly over there, so I didn't do a very good job on my first day. They needed to make an action figure with the uh, flyaway knee pads. Yeah, they should. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, but, okay, so there is that first day on the set, and you get there, and it, was, it, was it then the uh, bounty hunters, we don't need the scum? That were all lined up above. It was the, all the bounty hunters lined up, and, yeah. and when it's as you wish. 
And, and look, I mean, you know, most of these guys, not that cool, especially this guy. Everybody knows this guy's name, right? Who's this? Thank God. Well done. Thank God. Thank God. Yeah, and, and look at his outfit. Like, he got in and went, really? That's the outfit? That's <laughs> <laughs> cool. As Boba Fett, he really stood out. And I remember as a kid just being so taken by it. But the other thing that got me was the way you hold the blaster. Yeah, now, tell us about that. Yes, I mean, that was incredible. Did you design story. that? Did you think, okay, I need my own thing. This is Boba Fett. He's this great action guy. And I'm going to hold it in a different way. What was no, the well, I'll, I'll just stand up for this. Okay. It's important. Yeah, the first day I'm standing there with a... I'm just standing with the rifle. Thinking, this thing, I think, it's happened to be here. I'm marvelous. So we're standing like this. Yeah. And just as they're setting up the scene, I could feel the gun falling down like this. So I had to do this. So it wasn't a cool, moody Boba Fett holding it like this. It was, it was so heavy, and I was just going down. So I got, you know, got away with that. Yeah. Oh, hey, look at that. Yeah, there's some that. Okay, careful. Now, Boba Fett is an interesting character. And, you know, have you seen those? Uh, do they have those in, in, in England? The uh, most interesting man in the, in the world. Have you guys seen those? Yeah. Most interesting man in the world. It's like a, it's a Dos Equis beer or something. I don't know if you've seen, Boba Fett has his own ad now. And uh, take a look. Take a look at the screen. I'm the captain solo and the crowd of hope. His helmet is made of the finest Mandalorian mounts and age and cheese. As you wish. When he falls into a Sarlacc pit, he's only digested for 998 years. His DNA could produce an entire clone army. Unaltered. Unaltered. Curious. He is the most interesting bounty hunter in the galaxy. I don't always hunt scoundrels, but when I do, I prefer to do it solo. Stay rebellious, my friends. <laughs> I smell a spin-off. I smell a spin-off. Hey, so I've always asked you so many different questions, but I felt it was appropriate because I have some questions I've never asked you before, and I thought we should take a step inside the Akbar studio. It's a trap! <laughs> no, it's not a trap. Okay, so now here's the way it works. Have you ever seen Inside the Actor Studio? Have you seen that show? Uh, and, yes, I have. From time to time. And there's the whole thing there where, you know, you, you ask them the ten questions. Well, we have seven Star Wars questions for you. I'm going to ask you these questions. Okay. You just give me the first thing that comes off the top of your head. But remember, we're at Disney. <laughs> okay. So, uh, are, you, are you all set? You yeah, know? yeah. Okay. Sure. What is your favorite Star Wars film? Empire Strikes Back. You know, most people say that, but you have a good reason to it because Boba Fett is, is introduced in that yes, feature. Yes, I'm slightly biased. Yes, you're a little biased, but that's okay. What Star Wars sound do you love? Star Wars sound? Yeah, what sound? Oh, John Williams music. John Williams music. That's a good answer. We haven't had that one yet. That's a pretty good answer. Some people say that it's almost like an extra character in the film. It really is. Pretty fantastic. Okay, what Star Wars sound do you dislike that you don't like? I don't like. Uh, well, that would be going into the Sarlacc pit <laughs> and the noise from the Sarlacc crunch and the bird. Crunch. Yeah, I've got a little soundboard here. I don't really have that, but I've got a okay, job. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, okay, but I don't have the Sarlacc pit. Okay, yes, you wouldn't like that. Now, what's your favorite Star Wars word? As you wish. <laughs> as you wish, sure. This has a, has a full sentence. It's good. What character, I mean, this one I like, what character besides your own? Would you have liked to have been? I'm sorry. Really? Uh, <laughs> well, I think, yes, thank you. <laughs> um, I think it's because they're very similar. Boba Fett. Boba well, Fett is kind of the um, the darker side of Han Solo. Yeah, I, I, I agree. That they both probably flew together in the Millennium Falcon, set up something. He owed him money, and the, that's yeah. They just announced that they're going to make a, a, another movie, right? Just the other day. So maybe that's a spin-off. Maybe it's a buddy movie. You know, okay. they go on the road. It's like Thelma and Louise at the end, they're holding hands. And holding yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, what character would you not like to be? Not like to be? Well, Boba Fett in the song. No, I know that sounds silly, but I don't want to be down there. Yeah, that was probably kind of a bummer when you it's got not in. It's nice down there. First, <laughs> first day of Return of the Jedi, I gotta do what? I gotta fall where? That's no good. Okay, and final question. If you were to get a part in episode seven, 
What is the first thing you'd like to hear J.J. Abrams say to you when you arrive on set? I'm cheap. <laughs> Very good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have gone inside the Akbar studio. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Okay, hey, hey, uh, now, uh, there's a little thing we do here at Stars of the Saga where we take a, a double take, another look at a scene from Star Wars, but we have something interesting here. You were telling me once before you had one line, first time, you know what I'm talking about, where you had to say the one line about Han Solo, oh, and, right. and then the first day you get there and you said it. Can you tell us that story? Yes, uh, the, the most embarrassing time of my life where we're setting up. So, Jeremy, okay, everything ready, okay, now let's go. And I had to say, put Captain Silva in the cargo hold. Well, on the day, they said, right, stand by, Jeremy, okay, because mm -hmm. they can't hear what you're saying. Right. And I then thought, I said, Put Captain Cargo in a solo. <laughs> I couldn't believe that. It was, it was early in the f filming. But you know, the thing is, is you said that you know they didn't they didn't capture that because of course you know you were in the helmet and everything. I don't know if you know, but they actually we uncovered the footage. You guys want to see it? What? Yeah. Take a look at the screen. Scary. Put Captain Cargo in the solo. Pretty good, huh? It's flawless. But then, but then it's Disney, and we have a tendency to kind of take things a little farther. We've uh, we've created something a little more uh, fun with it. So you guys, go ahead and run that. Yeah. has uh, had a really astonishing career as well. And it started at the age of 11 in a little movie we call Return of the Jedi, and it's all just been going uphill from there. Take a look at the screens. <laughs> And so you're the host of this. I am, yeah. And 
How is that? Is that pretty wild? Well, I don't know how it happened. Honestly, I get I, my career has been full of these new opportunities, things that I've never done before. People trust me with them, and uh, ITV in the UK have trusted me with uh, their new show, Celebrity Square. So I'm the, the host, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope we can see some of it here in the States. We probably catch it somewhere on. Well, I don't know. Yeah, you get your own version, don't you? Yeah. Here, but, yeah, we uh, want to see you. We want to see you, Jack. Yes, yes. And in fact, we really want to see you right back here later because you have a show that debuted last year mm -hmm. at Star Wars Weekends. It was a huge success. I don't know if anybody saw it, but you need to see it now at yeah. 515, right back here, an Ewoks tale with Warwick Davis. Yes, anybody going to come back and see it? <laughs> it's such a fun show. It really is a fun yeah. show. You I, mean, I, I, I wrote the show uh, specifically for Star Wars Weekends last year and um, it's been great stepping back into it again for this year. I'm so glad they wanted to have it back. And I just tell my life story, really, with the help of um, some of the people from the audience as well. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty fantastic. Yeah, so if you come back, make sure you know you might be in the show. You could be in the show, yeah. You never know. A guy okay. that comes and does your pre-show, he's a little nuts, though. There is, yeah, my director is a bit crazy. Yeah, so the director, okay, yeah. is, but is, we don't have him here. But, and you cover a lot of it in the show. Mm. And so we won't get into, like, how did it all begin, you know, with like the adventure of Star Wars? Yes. But I don't know if I've ever really asked you, how did it feel? Or emotionally, you're an 11 year old kid and you're about to be in something, because you and I are the same age. Yeah. And we grew up in the same height, same age. <laughs> <laughs> you're a little taller than me. And, and we were Star Wars fans. So. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I remember going to see Star Wars in 1977. Uh, as a young boy, and um, and really enjoying it. I mean, I actually lined up outside the theatre and didn't get into the showing that I was waiting for, and stood there for two hours and waited to go into the next one. And it had a huge impact on me, like I'm sure it did on, on many of you guys here. And um, yet to think that a few years later I was going to be in the third instalment of the classic trilogy um, was was mind blowing. And, and yeah, when I was I was working on the film, it was it was just the most brilliant experience for me. A, I was missing school, which was brilliant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, there are youngsters in the audience here who I'm sure play the, uh, the Star Wars video games. And you know, in virtual reality, you're battling with stormtroopers. I got to do it as an 11 year old. For yeah, real. for real. And, and not many of us have pictures like this. <laughs> I can't believe that. Look at me, I was asleep. That was at the, uh, the rap party for the film. And uh, yeah, I, I was a bit tired then. <laughs> oh yeah, you were too tired there. That was before. It went to my head, didn't it? Look at me, all Hollywood. <laughs> well, you know, guys, you're both uh, you're both from what? Texas? Is that Texas? You have a little accent. Texas. So <laughs> <laughs> there's our specialty from it. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, what time is tea? Uh, normal. Tea time is about four o'clock, isn't it? Okay. So we're, we're, we're kind of close. Would you guys want to have a little tea now? I would love to partake in okay. some tea. Yeah, let's have some tea. Time for tea, as you wish. With Warwick and Jeremy. Okay, so we have some tea. Very nice, and we have the kind that you guys like. So Very I'll sophisticated. Shall I have some tea? And I thought we could all sit about, have a little tea, and talk about songs. Let's check what's in the tea first. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> it really is lovely tea. Are you going to sit on the, uh, on the sofa here? You can sit wherever you like. Yeah, we can all sit together. You want to sit together? We'll sit together. Yeah. 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 James needs room. I know it's more. Keep going. Come on. So you say you know the amount of tea we're supposed to have? Well, I didn't know how much you wanted. What is the problem? Hold it there like that. Actually, little finger up in the air like that. Pick it to you. Sit it on my jacket. Do you normally drink it this hard? Is it we see, the trick is, yeah. I recently did a play in the UK, and I had to drink tea during the show. And the trick is that the, the ASM on stage, who is this assistant stage manager, should make the tea 15 minutes prior to the performance. So indeed, the actor can then drink it straight away. Ah, straight away. Yes, yes. it is. It's it's a when you were both making Star Wars, was it wonderful? Who told you about Star Wars? It's a tragic experience. I mean, I should never forget you. Yeah, as long as I live. It's I'm writing with Sam Adams. <laughs> 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 Have some scones. <laughs> okay, we'll work on the scones. So now, you guys worked together 
one time in Star Wars. We did. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not in any of the movies. No. That's funny. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I do know what you're talking about. You talk about it in your show. Yes. But we have a clip, actually. Can we show that? Yes! Oh! Nice! 
Check you out. What the heck? Oh, he's not very happy about that. Take my body and stay me. Yeah. 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 And that's a wrap. Pocket Warrior. It's a free download. Available for iPhone, iPad and Android devices. Are you lucky, lucky people? <laughs> we love the Pocket Warrior. Can we have Pocket Warrior? Can I interrupt? Yes. Okay. Yes. Did you have to pay for that? In what sense? That act thing. Uh, it's cost a fortune to make that. <laughs> <laughs> I've given it away. You sure you haven't lost your money? I've been on this. Yeah. I've been on this. Wait a second. So, okay. Uh, yes, I should yes. name a few of these things. He's a very busy man you are. Uh, life's too short. Yes. We love life's too short. Thank yes. Woo! An idiot abroad. Yeah. And then, uh, and then we have this one. So and there's how many episodes in total? Eight. Eight, eight, eight episodes. episodes. Yeah. Okay, will you do more, you think? We might do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. if you watch it, you demand more, then we'll do more. Absolutely. Hey guys, this has been so much fun. Now, it's something we started uh, last year. It's a phony photo moment. Yes. Okay, can we roll that little thing there? We'll get that going. It's a Star Wars Weekend's phony photo memory. Oh, phony photo memory. Here's the deal, you've been taking pictures of us on stage here, we've been, you know, chatting, having tea, and but pretty much just kind of boring photos, so we want to, we want to put one together for you that's a little more exciting. You guys ready for this then? Yeah. Okay, so guys, I have some uh, props for you. Okay. Uh, Jeremy, I got that for you. Oh, thank so you. Should, you hand that over to Jeremy. And Warren, last year, do you remember last year, we did some what we call Vadering shots for this. Oh yeah, like, it was you and me and Ray Park. And I don't, I don't know if we have that shot at all, but um, but it was, uh, so Ray and I would jump at the right time, and you all take your pictures at the right time. Yeah. And and it looks fantastic. Do we have that? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> now because of that, and because the false is very strong with you, we have this mask for you. Oh, cool. Excellent. So I thought, now Jeremy, if you put that on and get your blaster, you can stand behind him like Boba Fett. Yeah. And your face. Oh no no no! Here, it's it's Velcro. <laughs> oh, is it? A um, miracle of Velcro. Well, I think we need to do it once it's over my big head. Okay. Very good. Oh, yeah, you got it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Terrifying. <laughs> Terrifying. So so okay, Jeremy, you get set behind him. Well, where do you want me to be? Jeremy? You stand right there. I'm gonna I'm gonna be over here, and you're gonna be using a force on me, and I'll jump. And when I jump, I'll count one, two, three, and I'll jump, you all take your pictures, and then it'll look as though he's using the force on me. So I'm just doing you there. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And then you, so you can, now you gotta hold it the right way, though. Yes. So, do you know how Boba Fett holds the gun? No, I don't. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry, sorry. Let's just do one more thing. James, I am your father. No, it's not true. No. Do the, no, do the, do the, it's impossible, please do not. Oh. That's impossible! That's great. Thank you very much. Hey, Mark Hamill will be here in a few weeks. Yes, he will. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And there is no one. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do, what, it just does that, doesn't it? You do that, yeah, very 
very simple. Okay, you guys ready? Everybody ready with the cameras? Okay. One, two, three. It seems much more dramatic when you say it. Okay, let me do another one. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three. That's going to look so cool. What's the ridiculous thing you did here? I'm doing an expression. I'm going. <laughs> Okay, you guys can take the masks off now, because you are so, I mean, we can keep on going, but like, you know, I'm just thinking, there's really only one way we can close this, because it's Star Wars Weekend, it's yes. Disney, it's Star Wars, it's wonderful stuff, but who, who really puts all of that together into one fantastic view? You guys know? No. Somebody said it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, Jedi Mickey! Close the stars of the Saga's talk show? Ha! Oh, it would be my pleasure! Excellent! <laughs> okay, good. Uh, could we have a, a little music maestro, please? Now it's time to say goodbye to all our company. M.I.C. See you real soon! K.Y. Why? Because we love you! Yes!